Yo, welcome, Frony. So lately, there's been lots of misconceptions going on about tier two dungeons and what that actually means, different preparation strategies and all of that. And we have got new information now and I want to set it straight so you know exactly how to prepare. So first, you need to understand that the two star dungeons that they're going to be releasing on November the 21st does not mean that you're getting tier two gear instantly. What we will get though is most likely a world boss loot in boxes so each of those dungeons fulfills the purpose to farm a single piece so like one dungeon is for farming helmets the other one for farming guns and you will also be able to farm dungeon soul shards similar as the tier ones to buy boxes where you can then have a select chance onto one of those items that you specifically need those dungeons unlike korea will also not be bound to your general tokens. So those dimensional contract tokens right here, they will not be used for the upcoming two-star dungeons. We will get a separate currency. It's not like in Korea. So it also makes no sense to save up those dungeon points. You can just um, farm them out. But what does make sense is actually preparing for the tier two gear that is going to be released in a couple of months. Because the preparation method that I'm going to explain you now will take some time but if you do this you can profit from the upcoming price raise of all the tier 2 gear like remember at the server start people were able to make insane loosen if they sold all of the items and that chance is coming up again if you're doing a proper preparation and the key word here is called fail stacking so what you want to do is you want to get blessing so high on the item that you're putting onto your tier two gear. So you do not need to buy any trades to level up cause for tier two gear. You cannot use blue gear anymore to trade it. So basically the purple tier one gear is the 10% success chance on the purple tier two gear, similar as the blue one it is for the purple tier one. The way you do it is you take any piece of gear that you're dropping in the open world dungeons that has um, like low value, it's like a 10 lucent thing that's not even worth the trade conversion stones. And then on that piece of gear, you want to unlock free trades. It doesn't even matter what they are. Now we have a pants that are completely useless with mana region, melee endurance and max mana. But what you want to do is actually fail stack the blessing. So we're going to use blue items now that we are dropping in the dungeons on mass and are, usually you would just dissolve them. But those you're putting now into this blue gear. You're seeing every time that you're failing, you will gain blessing. And when you convert an item from tier one into tier two that is fully traded, you will gain 1,320 blessing from it. On our finished item, we need to do it three times. So here we have one out of four, one out of four, one out of four. So each is three. That means we need to have nine purple tier one items. And while on tier one, we are having um, 450 blessing needed to have a 100% chance. On a tier two, it is 900 blessing. So that means we would need 8,100 blessing to have a guaranteed upgrade with the tier one gear. But from here, if we are putting in a fully traded one, it is, like I said, minus 1,320. So this is the amount of blessing that you need to go for when you want to use an extra piece and keep your tier one. If you actually want to also remove your tier one gear, you can subtract another 1,320 and that is your blessing then. Because then the way you will do it is into this gear, here, this item that you're stacking, the useless item, you will put your other tier one item that you're already wearing inside that piece. And then the new item you will transfer into your, into your new tier two item. This way you can bypass the fact that you can only transfer an item once. And for example, if your item at the moment that you're wearing is already having some blessings, you can just subtract the blessings that you already have extra on your item from that number and then stack up your item. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. 
This strategy is long term, I know that, but if you keep doing it now for the months you always farm down your abyssal contract tokens, you will be able to prepare one of these items for all of your slots, excluding accessories, because those will come way later. So it's definitely doable. And I think everyone should do it, no matter if whale or free to play, whatever, like you can just do it as a side now. So now let's go over some general things that you can actually do to prepare. And one of those is actually creating ad characters. Here you can see I'm on Europe. So I could create one more character here, but the total character limit is actually not two characters. It is two characters per region. So if you change to another region, you will see that for that region, you can again create two totally new characters. And all of those alts share the Lucent, but you can get a lot of more dungeon runs going if you set them up. And the lowest recommendation that you need to set them up is 2,500 gear score, so they can farm the tier two dungeons. Another thing that is basically Lucent directly into your pocket are the trade unlock stones, which would you should save up for the tier two gear from now on, unless you're dropping an arch boss weapon, but besides that, save it for tier two gear, because every trade that you can unlock here will be worth multiple thousands of Lucent later. If you don't know how to farm those stones, I've made that specific video showcasing all the sources and how you can farm it. Another thing that you should start um, stacking up on is growth stones right here. Once tier two comes, the upgrade level will go from nine to plus 12. That means you will have a way higher need of growth stones than you have at the moment. And if you start stacking up now, don't waste it on like multiple gears or whatever, you will be able to instantly max it out once you're going into the tier two. Then as you can see right here, I started to build out my storage to store more purple items that maybe would have like a bad trade and I don't need for the fail stacking. And I would want to keep all of those because <clears throat> already as a preparation for when they are releasing the rune and substance transformation system. If you don't know what that is, I also have a video for you. And another thing that I'm currently doing is I'm saving all the enchanted ink. Because at the moment, lithographs are not worth that much of like the regular items. But I want to have the opportunity once tier two comes to basically turn anything into a lithograph. And therefore, I also need resources um, like the crafting resources like those here right there. So make sure you also stack up on those and farm them. And then one gamble that was similar to when we gambled that big sex from fishing, we're going to get the Queen Bellinger soul shards inside. And there we were, right, right? We kept all the sex, opened it afterwards and got the loosened out of it extra. And here I'm gambling again. So I'm keeping all the abyssal aggregate at the moment and all the abyss currency that I'm farming and hoping that the currency will stay the same for tier two boxes and I can cash out big time there. Because in Korea, this is the case and we will have to see if it actually comes true or not. Yeah, guys, that was it. I hope you know now everything that you can realistically do to prepare for tier one and squeeze out that loose end. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.